Good. All right. First question is just your first and last name and if you could spell it. Rebecca Selby, R-E-B-E-K-A-H-S-E-L-B-Y. And Rebecca, so tell me a little bit about why you're here today, where you live, and what's going on. Well, we're here trying to pick up pieces of what's left of my in-law's home. Um, it's completely destroyed and we lost them both. So just trying to wrap up any pieces we can. Memories for the, their grandbabies and to hold on to. And you were also telling me that your kids were actually located not too far when the tornado hit. They were directly in front of my in-law's house at um, my great-grandmother's house, um, sleeping. And there was just some windows knocked out, but the house stood, but their house was completely gone. And so you said that after you heard about the tornado, you guys rushed over here. Tell me a little bit about what happened. Well, um, we rushed over here. It took me about 45 minutes. I lived three miles away. Um, everywhere we, every route way we tried to take was just blocked. There was trees down, there was power lines down, um, so much debris. I lost two tires. Try, I just ran anything over trying to get to my kids. So. And so when you got out here, you were telling me a little bit about what the scene looked like and finding your mother-in-law. It was like a war zone. We got to the main road, 70. We're on McBroom Chapel. We ran, me and my dad ran back here. And um, we just ran through the yard. And as soon as we got over the tree line, she was laying right across the tree line. And um, my brother-in-law was sitting up next to, not far from her. And um, we just started digging, looking for my father-in-law. And of course, we're so sorry to hear about your loss. Can you tell me a little bit about them? What were they like? What do you want them to be remembered for? My father-in-law was, his smile was contagious, precious. He just loved the grandbabies. Um, Kathy was, she was a pistol. <laughs> uh, she told me I was her favorite daughter and we, of course, you know, butted heads and, you know, we just loved each other and I just hope that they knew how much I loved them. And they were such good grandparents and he was such a good, you know, he worked at Pilot for 13 years. He raised my husband to be a truck driver and a good provider and dad and um, they're just going to be so deeply missed. What do you want people to know who maybe don't live in this area, who don't know about the damage? What do you want them to know about it? And do you know of any ways they can help? It's um, just, uh, I don't even know. It's just nothing like I've ever seen or experienced in my entire life. This, They've lived here for over 40 years, and we've never seen anything like this. It's just devastating. And um, if you can just just hugs and prayers and offers of prayers just help so much. And if you see anything, just try to get it to their loved ones the best you can. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.